everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Janie. I am a self-taught small home gardener in Northern California, zone 9B. Two years ago, we moved into this home and I had no idea what I was doing with gardening. We had hired gardeners to do our mowing and blowing, but that was about it. And so I decided I wanted to get out there, I wanted to get my hands dirty, and I wanted to garden. Today I'm talking all about tools that you need to start off your gardening journey. Uh, I think I was like everybody in that I decided to start gardening and I went to the store and I thought I needed everything on the shelf. So I spent a ton of money and about 75% of everything that I bought ended up in my garage and it's collecting dust right now. So I thought a great video for you guys to help you out with your gardening journey is to show you what you actually need as a new gardener and what you can kind of leave at the store and save your money on and spend that money on more plants instead. I've made my list. I have 10 things here that I wanted to tell you guys about and let's get started. So the first item on my list of tools that you need for gardening are for gloves. Now, I think that gloves are actually really important. Sometimes you see gardeners not using gloves, but you know, it really does a number on your hands when you're digging through the dirt. And I love using my hands to work with everything, you know, to kind of help me with my shovel, help me with my trowel and really get the plant in there. So I think gardening gloves are huge. I got these from Costco actually. You can get these in a pack of 10 at Costco in the springtime for only about $10, which is fantastic. So it's a pair of a uh, dollar per pair of gloves. And you have to be prepared that your gloves are gonna wear out. If you use gloves the way that I do, and you really get in there and dig with your hands and use with your hands, the tips, the fingertips are gonna start to wear out. So don't spend a ton of money on gloves. Don't spend eight bucks on one pair of gloves because that is not gonna last you. Try and get them for about a dollar. One thing that I just wanna say before we get too far into this video is I want everyone to know that there are gardening supplies at the dollar store. And it only comes out you know, for about a month right after Christmas time. And so I think this is the perfect timing of the video to tell you guys that. So you guys can run to the dollar store and get your own dollar store supplies. These are $1 gloves that I got from the dollar store. I got, you know, a bunch of pairs of them and I use them all the time and they actually have lasted just as long as the other gloves that I've bought at other places. So the dollar store is a really good resource for new beginners to get tools for gardening. Number two on my list of tools that new gardeners need is a trowel. And I think this is a super important tool. You can see how dirty mine is. Um, it's just something that you're going to use all the time. It's going to kind of be like an extension of your hand. So you want to kind of get a really good quality one uh, with a nice, uh, strong, um, what do you call this thing? A nice, strong handle, basically. You don't want it to bend. Speaking of the dollar store, they also sell trowels there. And so I got myself a couple trowels, but this one is not strong. I can basically bend this one myself with my own hands. So you can imagine that if you're getting in there and it's you know rocky soil and hard soil, this is gonna bend in two seconds. So I have a couple of these and I let my daughters use these. Well, I use the wooden one that's a little bit stronger. This one wasn't even expensive. I think it was about $6 at my local nursery. Um, but I just think that a trowel is something that you don't wanna go bargain basement with as opposed to the gloves that are gonna get holes in it anyway. A trowel is gonna last you for a little bit longer. So number two on my tools that new beginning gardeners need is a trowel. All right, on to number three for the tools that new gardeners need is a pair of pruners. And this is another one that you might wanna invest a little bit more in. Um, these are called bypass, excuse me, bypass pruners. And this is another tool that's just gonna become an extension of your own hand. I have these pruners in my hand almost every single time I walk outside into my garden. These are Felco 2s. They're about $50 from the gardening store. I got mine off Amazon and I absolutely love them. Laura from Garden Answer recommended these and I think it was a wonderful recommendation. So there are cheaper versions of these bypass pruners. I started out with these Fiskars and they work fine. Um, they just don't stay as sharp and um, 
you know, they just don't feel as good in my hands as these Felcos do. Uh, but these are about $15, I think. I'll link them down below. Um, so they're a good deal. It's a good starter pair of pruners. Um, but I think the Felco 2s, if you really want to invest or if you want to ask for a Christmas present, this is a great option for you guys. So again, it's the Felco's, Felco 2s. So the next item on my list of tools for beginner gardeners is a round digging shovel. And I'll put a picture right here because I don't want to bring the digging shovel into my house. Um, but when I first started out, I thought I needed one of those shovels with the square edges, and obviously that was a newbie mistake. Those are more for digging trenches um, and kind of fine tuning where you're digging. And so really the best type of shovel you want is the one with the round, rounded end. And again, just like the trowel, you want to get one that's pretty sturdy. Um, because you're going to be using it and using it hard. I use shovel all the time. It's super easy to just, you know, jump onto it and dig a hole if you get a good one. So I think that that's something that's really important for new gardeners to have. On that same vein as the digging shovel is a digging fork. So a digging fork I think is really important if you have uh, a new piece of property that hasn't had a lot of gardening on it. A lot of times if there hasn't been a lot of digging or hasn't been a lot of gardening, the soil is really compacted and really, really, really hard. So there's just about no way that you're gonna dig a hole with a trowel and it might even be really hard with a digging shovel. So having a digging fork to get you started and get that hole started for the plant that you're gonna plant, for the plant that you're gonna dig and plant, <laughs> um, a digging fork can loosen all the soil and just make it easier for you. So it's one more step in um, getting that plant in the ground, um, but it's just gonna save your back and, and make the whole process a lot more enjoyable if you kind of pre-dig the area with the digging fork and then finishing up with the digging shovel. The next thing I think you need as a beginning gardener is some type of kneeling pad. Now, you can use a folded up, you know, garage towel or beach towel for this. That absolutely works, but you need something to be able to kneel on and sit back on. You could get out there and just wear a nice pair of jeans, not a nice pair of jeans, just wear a pair of jeans and sit on the ground. But if you're sitting on mulch or if you're sitting on anything that's kind of scratchy or itchy or anything like that, you're gonna want a kneeling pad. Also, if it's wet outside or moist outside, you're gonna not wanna get your jeans wet the minute that you, <laughs> that you start gardening. So a kneeling pad is really helpful. I actually like this one here. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It lasts a little bit longer. I have a lot of mulch in my yard, and so the mulch tends to stick in the kneeling pads. Um, so this thicker one that I have here, you know, is a couple inches thick. So even if that mulch just by chance gets it right there, I'm not gonna feel it on my knees because the kneeling pad is thick enough. The next tool that I have on my list for beginner gardeners is a watering wand. And this is one of those wands that you screw onto the end of your hose and it allows you to water your plants. And the reason why I think that this is really important is if you try and water your plants just with a hose, the new babies that you just plant um, or even the loose soil that you have there, it's gonna splash everywhere and all your hard work is just gonna be a mess because the amount of water that's, that's spraying at it is just too much. So what a watering wand does is it spreads out the surface area of the water and it makes it so it's kind of like a light rain on the area. I like the long ones. I used to use the short ones that you know you could kind of just squeeze and, and water everything. Um, but then I found myself bending over quite a lot to get underneath the foliage of the plants. And so I really like the longer watering wands that I can just stand up and then just kind of walk through and water my plants. All right, so just like you can use a towel instead of a kneeling pad, for this one, you can use a bucket instead of a pop-up bag. However, I have a bucket on my list as well. That's my next one, um, because a bucket you're gonna use all the time. Sometimes I'll use it when I'm transplanting a plant. I'll dig the plant up, stick it in the bucket, and take it somewhere. Sometimes I'll use the bucket to add you know, compost or extra soil in and take it with me. 
This bucket is one that I just use. I just got from an irrigation set, starter set that I'll link down below. And I loved that irrigation starter set. But once I used all the irrigation, I just kind of reused this bucket. So you can use this in place of a pop-up bag. Uh, I have the Fiskars Kangaroo pop-up bag. I'll put it right here. And I'll link all of these things down below as well. Um, but I really like a pop-up bag because when you're going through the garden and you're cutting things back and you're pruning things, you can just carry that pop-up bag with you and not worry about running back and forth to your green waste bin. So I think a pop-up bag is actually really helpful and they're really not that expensive. So if you really want to save money, you can double up and use a bucket. Um, but I think having a bucket and a pop-up bag is probably a good choice and it's going to be worth your money. Okay, the very last thing I have on my list for tools for new gardeners is actually a leaf blower. Now, even if you have a gardener come here, come to your house once a week, once every other week to blow the leaves, you're gonna be making a mess in gardening and you're gonna have a ton of soil everywhere and you're gonna have a ton of leaves um, from the, the plants that you're pruning and everything like that. So a leaf blower is probably something that I use the most, just like my pruners or my trowel. So it's really, really helpful to invest in a leaf blower. You don't have to get an expensive one. You don't have to get the kind that you put on your back. Uh, go to Home Depot or even off of Amazon and choose which brand you want. So it's really important that you choose the brand, whether it be Ryobi or um, what's that yellow one? DeWalt. <laughs> you choose the brand because what you're going to do is you're going to buy the battery pack. And with the battery pack, you're going to be able to switch that battery pack with different items as you buy them as you get you know more and more into gardening but basically my husband and i we decided to go with the ryobi brand because home depot has that brand and home depot is the closest to us and so we bought the leaf blower from ryobi and the battery that we use for our drill for our lawnmower um, for everything we can use that with the leaf blower as well i really like a battery powered leaf blower because it just allows you to go wherever you want blow off whatever you need and then you can just come back into the garage plug in that battery and then you can use it again another day it makes it so easy it's kind of like those cordless vacuums that you can get now and they just help you vacuum you know that much more often rather than lugging out the whole thing and plugging it in so i think a battery powered leaf blower is super super important so those are the 10 things that i think are really important tools for new gardeners now, I might have left out a bunch of things that you guys think are important. One of the main things I left out is a wheelbarrow or a wagon. I bought myself a wagon thinking I was gonna use it to lug stuff from one side to the other, but that is something that's just sitting there collecting dirt and I never use it. Um, so, you know, it, everybody's different, every gardener's different. This is just my experience and the things that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis and the things that I think I just wasted my money on. So as a recap, the 10 items that I think are really important are a good pair of gloves. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them, right? I think a dollar per pair is a perfect price. A trowel, this one you kind of want to spend a little bit more money on than just a dollar from the dollar store because you're going to be using this a lot more. A pair of pruners, a round digging shovel, a digging fork, a kneeling pad, a watering wand, a pop-up bag, a bucket, and a leaf blower. I really hope this video was helpful for all you new gardeners out there. I think gardening is just about one of the best hobbies you can have. It gets you outside, it gets you away from the news and the TV and you know um, uh, all the stressors of life and it just allows you to focus on nature. So I hope that this gardening series is helpful. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it as best as I can. And if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. I'm planning to do a whole Gardening for Beginners series where I release a new video every Monday to help new gardeners get up and going by the time gardening season is in full swing next year. Thank you all for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in another video very soon.